Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. I'm Maurice Dubois. The Category 2 hurricanes expected to strengthen over the Atlantic. And tonight we've learned the damage in Puerto Rico has turned deadly. The island's governor says at least two people have died because of Fiona. Crews have rescued more than a thousand people from floodwaters. Homes are damaged and about a million are without power. But tonight, help is on the way from our area. New York is sending a state trooper delegation to assist with relief efforts. CBS 2's Dick Brennan in studio now with more. Dick? Well, Jessica and Maurice, tomorrow is five years to the day that Hurricane Maria struck Puerto Rico. Now it's Fiona, and many say this storm is worse because of so much water. Raging floodwaters ravaged Puerto Rico, fueled by the constant pounding of catastrophic rains. And there were scenes like these, neighbors with a boat and some rope, desperately trying to save a family trapped in the water. This new bridge built after Hurricane Maria four years ago was no match for the surging waters, and many homes were swept away, too. A lot of people, more than Maria, lost their houses now, lost everything on their houses because of the floating. It was much the same as Fiona struck the Dominican Republic, the tourist city of Punta Cana taking a direct hit. Rafael Ortiz said, it's a disaster. We lost everything here. The storm packing 90 mile per hour winds and some 25 inches of rain. Carmen Rivera said everything was flooded and we had to rush out in the rain with the water coming up to our waist. And now almost the entire island of Puerto Rico remains without power. Edward Cornavelli said we're looking for gasoline, water, ice. The island never fully recovered from Maria, but FEMA says this time it's better prepared to respond. We have. 10 times the meals and water. We also have three times the generator support. Here in New York, many are worried about their loved ones back home. Ada El Amir was born in Santo Domingo. Oh my God, it devastates me. She believes New Yorkers will step up to help. We have so many resources here, but over there they don't. And even though we're trying to help out there, it's a question of how quickly we can get these resources over there. And Governor Hochul says New York will be sending help to Puerto Rico and Santo Domingo. That includes 100 Spanish-speaking state police officers who will assist on the ground. Jessica. Dick, thank you.